In this video, we would change this equation from general form of a circle to standard form of a circle. Our first step is to put our similar terms together. So we want to put our x's beside each other and our y's beside each other. And next, we move our constant to the other side. And whenever we move anything across our equal sign, we have to do opposite operation. So that's why our 1 fourth is now negative. Our next step is we need to complete the square twice. To complete the square, we take 1 half times the coefficient of our linear term. We square this value, and we add our result on both sides of the equation. So we have to do this twice, once with our x values, and another time with our y values. So for our x values, our linear term is 1 half, a negative 1 half. So we do 1 half times a negative 1 half, which gives us a negative 1 fourth. And when we square this value, we have 1 over 16. So we add this result to both sides of our equation. And now we're going to do the same exact step, but with our y's. So once again, the key step in completing the square, 1 half times the coefficient of the linear term squared. So our linear term here is negative 1. It's the value in front of just the y. So we have negative 1 half, and we square this value, and we have a positive 1 fourth. So on the right-hand side of our equation, the negative 1 fourth and the positive 1 fourth cancel each other out. So we just have 1 over 16. And we need to factor based on the x and based on the y. So our shortcut always is whatever we take half of the coefficient of the linear term to be, that's what's going to go inside of our parentheses. And once again, looking at the y, whatever we take half of the linear term to be, that's what's going inside of our parentheses. So here is the equation of our circle in standard form. Our center is represented by h and k. And you always have to remember that it's the opposite sign of what you see inside the parentheses. So this is 1 fourth and 1 half. And our radius is going to be the square root of what we see in the problem. So the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 16 is 4. So our radius is 1 fourth. 